First one, okay. Uh, number three. Express the uh, express the first number in terms of the second number. The first one is a uh, question three, which is going to be twenty-eight over forty-two. Twenty-eight over forty-two are both even numbers. Divide them by two. Fourteen over twenty-one. Two will no longer divide into them, but three uh, seven will. Two over seven. Divide the top and bottom by seven. Sorry, two over three. Because when seven divides into twenty-one, it goes three times. Two over three. It goes divided by seven to start as well. True. Okay. Next one. Go. Next one is uh, number five. Okay. Number five is twenty over thirty-two. Now what we're going to do here is twenty over thirty-two, which is going to be both of them can be divided by four, and when we divide them by four, we get five eighths. Hi, oh, sir. Today is Mental Health Day. We're just wondering if anyone wants to donate any money to Mental Health Day. All right, guys. Now. Next thing is going to be uh, number seven, okay? Uh, sorry, twenty got divided by four, and so did thirty-two. That's where we got five eighths from, okay? The next one's number seven. Seven is fifteen over ninety. Now, what we can do here is we know they both get divided by five. So five into fifteen goes three times. Five into ninety goes eighteen times. 3 over 18. What divides it to 3 and 18? 3. 3. Divide the top and bottom by 3. You're going to get 1 and 6. That's number 7 done. Now, we're on to number 8. Or sorry, number 9. Number 9 is 35 cents divided by 1 euro 5 cents. What are you thinking, Joe? Um, 1 euro 5 cents is 65 cents. Uh, no, it's a euro and yeah. it's, it's 105. Because a euro and five cents is a hundred and five cents. Arson. Um, well, three, three thirties are 90 and they have to go to the number of five, so we're doing. Okay, so they're probably dividing equally, so we're Let's try it. Let's try a number that divides at the bottom. Five. Okay. Five and three, five five and three, five seven times. Five and two, five five. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Now, arson. Seven and twenty-one. What divides into two of them? Seven. Which will leave us? 1 over 3. Because 7 divided by 7 is 1. 21 divided by 7 is 3. Okay. The next one is uh, number 11. Now, number 11, it says, shh, excuse me, 50 centimeters. How many centimeters in a meter, Stephen? Sorry, did you use number that question 7? Yeah. Yeah. 50, 50 centimeters and 1 meter. Well, how much in 1 meter? 100 centimeters. What's 50 over 100? A half. A half. Okay, that's that one done. Next one is number 12. Number 12 is 750 divided by a kilometer. So, how much meters in a kilometer, Sean? What's 750 divided by a thousand? Three quarters. Let's take away the zeros first. And then, what divides into 75 and 100? 25. 75 divided by 75 divided by 25 is 3. 25 and 100 goes 4 times. 3 quarters. Okay. Next one. Next one is number 12. Uh, we just did number 12. Okay, now we're on to number 13. 13 is basically 90 cents. And how many euro in, in how many cents in 3 euro, Stephen? 300. 300. And then, uh, Garrett, 90 divided by 300? Uh, what can you do with the two zeros? Oh, yeah, cross them off. Because you're dividing by 10, top and bottom. Now, what goes into 9 and 30? 3. It goes 3. Over 10. 3 over 10. And enough, okay? So we've done all these ones thus far, and we've done 11 and 12. So that leaves us uh, with 16 to do. Okay, uh, Luca, for number 16, what do you think? Two days is 48 hours. 15 over 48. And what do you think the points at the bottom? Uh, 
three. Which goes? Uh, five and six. Sixteen. Divide the top and bottom by three, and you get five over sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Number sixteen. We've done. Now we're on to number eighteen. Okay. So number eighteen is uh, eight millimeters divided by two centimeters. How many centimeters? Uh, how many millimeters in a centimeter, Garrett? Twenty. Twenty. Ten. Ten. But it's twenty in total. What's eight divided by twenty? Uh, Donald. Eight divided by twenty. And four. Four. So it goes in uh, twice and five on the bottom. Two fifths. Perfect, Donald. Okay. Now we're on to number 19. Number 19 is 12 days and four weeks. How many days and four weeks? Uh, Sean? 28. 28. Now, Stephen, what do we need to do now? Uh, for, for, um uh, 12 over 28. And what do we divide the top and bottom by? Uh, 2. We can divide by 2. We get 6 over 14. And then you can uh, divide by 2 again. Divide by 2 again and we get 3 over 7. Okay, yeah. Uh, divide by Dividing by 2 twice is the same thing as dividing by 4. Okay. Now, uh, can I do number 25 now? 25. It's not on the board at the moment. Now, question 25 is two thirds of a number is 16. So two thirds of some number is 16. That means that the number we're talking about has to be bigger than 16, doesn't it? It does because two thirds of it is smaller, okay? All right. So what we do is we always turn it upside down. It was two thirds, so we're going to multiply by three and divide by two. Now, what happens when you multiply by three and divide by two? What you get? Oh, uh, uh Harry. Uh, yeah. So what is what is sixteen multiplied by three? It's forty-eight. And forty-eight divided by two? It's twenty-four. The number we're looking for is twenty-four. Sir. Yes. Next one. 27, okay? Now for 27, it's 5 sixths of a number is 20. So look, 5 sixths of the number is 20. But what we have to remember about this number is it's bigger than 20. So we're going to turn it upside down. We're going to multiply by 6 and divide by 5. Or divide by 5, multiply by 6. So it's going to be 120 divided by 5, which is 24. 24 again. Now finally, 29. 29 is a uh, 29 is eight ninths is eight ninths of the number is 48. So Stephen, what do we do this time? Well, uh, you can uh, uh, you can. Uh, it's 29. Uh, yeah. You can do eight is 48. Divide by eight and multiply by nine. Nine. And you get. Uh, seven times. Six times nine, which is fifty-four. Okay. Yeah. All right, Luke. No pressure. Now, uh, number thirty. Sean spent three quarters of his money and had ten euro left. How much did he have at first? How did you do, it, Luke? Uh, uh, just, just, uh, uh, Okay, go on, Stephen. Uh, well, uh, three quarters minus a quarter. Uh, three quarters of your money is ten. Sean, what's how'd you get the full amount? Uh, well, oh, three quarters of ten. No, three quarters of this pocket money is ten euro. How do I find the total amount? No, no, I don't want ten euro left. Yeah. Oh, ten euro left. Sorry, my fault. Uh, so you are you are perfectly right. Sorry, uh, sorry, was it Luke? Was it? Yeah. So one quarter is ten, yeah. which means four quarters is forty. Forty euro. 